everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Katie and I make videos related to art and my art business and journey so I'm really glad you're here and there is 7,000 of you guys now which is crazy and I'm just happy that you guys are all here as you could probably tell from the title already I'm gonna be spilling all my secrets about my favorite procreate brushes and I'll be taking you guys along the process of painting my beautiful plants and just telling you my favorite brushes and techniques that I used. And if you guys are unfamiliar with Procreate, it's an iPad illustration app and it's one of my favorite tools for digital illustration. There are so many things that you could do with Procreate and I wish I was able to explain them all, but I definitely would not do it justice, which leads me to the sponsor of this video. So thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community for creative people by creative people. And it's actually how I learned how to use Procreate one year ago, which is crazy that they're sponsoring my video now. Way back last year when I started my Instagram, I believe I did Charlie Clement's intro to Procreate animation right here. And I also found a couple classes for you guys that are introductions to Procreate. And these classes, like many other of Skillshare's classes, are about an hour long and they're broken up into really nice bite-sized pieces so you could go at your own pace and also re-watch sections if you needed to. And I'm sure you guys know the drill by now, Skillshare is about $10 a month for a premium subscription. And as always, there is a link in my description for the first thousand subscribers to get a free trial of a Skillshare premium subscription. So definitely take advantage of that, learn how to use Procreate, and then I could tell you all about my favorite brushes right now. So I've set up an 8x10 inch document. I usually just make my drawings 8x10 inches just in case I do want to make a print of it. So. That's the reasoning behind it. I'm just going to split this right here so you can see the brushes I use over here and I could demonstrate them and then make my drawing over here. So let's take a look into my brush library. Okay. So as I mentioned before, I do have brushes from other artists or ones that I purchased. So in addition to the brushes that Procreate gives, I do have a couple other folders with the brushes I purchased. So I have a gouache set right here and then a couple shader sets that I don't often gravitate towards. It's really up to you if you want to get more brushes and experiment with them. Personally, I could have gone without a couple of them and Procreate has amazing, amazing brushes that I already use all the time. So at the top here, I have my favorite brushes. I've categorized them by brushes, explanatory, um, liners. So these are like thinner brushes that I use a lot. And then a texture one that has just three ones that I use the most often in there, which I don't use as often as I do now. I definitely use these a lot more a couple months ago. So that's pretty much what my brush library looks like. I could organize this a little bit more, but in my head, there are a couple that I know that I use a lot, like this round brush I like to use for the back of stickers, and I've just changed the setting so that it's thick all the way through, stuff like that. So I just kind of know that they're there, but I haven't moved them to my favorites folder because I'm lazy. So I've chosen my color palette, so let's get into sketching. My all-time favorite brush to sketch with is the 6B pencil, and I do draw with this one a lot as well. The 6B pencil comes with Procreate, and I think you could find it in the sketching folder. I really, really like the 6B pencil because it has a lot of texture to it, and it really reminds me of an actual pencil, and you could kind of go like thick or thin with it, and you could like press it down harder and it just looks really nice. So I like it a lot. That's a terrible little line of it, but let me make a nice line. Okay, so I'm gonna use this to sketch. Usually to sketch, I like to use a color that I'm not using in the drawing. So since this is mostly greens and pinks, I'm gonna go for like a dark purple. I usually gravitate towards this, yeah. That's a nice one. 
So let's get sketching. This is what I really like about the 6B pencil. So I could go really light with the sketches, just like an actual pencil. So as you can see, these are really, really faint lines, but then I could go back in again on a separate layer and just kind of build that up to be more confident with my sketch. So I'm going to do that now. And then I could also put those details in with that thin line. Another good brush that I like to sketch with if I'm looking for more cleaner lines, like I'm doing something that kind of is more geometric or more illustrator-like, I'll use the Studio Pen. So this is a nice one. It just has like a nice clean line. Um, but for this drawing, I'm not using that one. So I'm going to make a new layer and do a first wash of color. So for this, I'm going into my brush folder and I have a couple different brushes that I like to use. The first one that comes with Procreate is the gouache brush. I love how it could get super big or really, really small so you could get details in with it. But usually use the midsize and you could really build up the color in this. It really works like actual gouache and I think it looks so, so pretty. It has really, really nice textures in it. Same goes for the watercolor brush, although I usually don't go for this one as much because it kind of is more like unpredictable in my opinion. And then also ones that I've purchased, I have this one from this gouache set and it's called Wash Clean. And it's very similar to this gouache brush, except it's kind of more precise. It's not as globby. And then this one, you could also build up the color and it has a very, very nice paper light texture. And then lastly, if I want a block of color, but still something with a little, little bit of texture, I like this opaque gouache brush. It just makes everything look so nice. And I just like the shape of the brush for this one. So I'm probably gonna use a mixture of these to make the first wash of color. the opaque brush just to block off all the colors I want to use so then when I use the other brushes with texture and stuff it'll have a nice like base layer and then I also just put each leaf on its own layer in case I need to mask it out later so done with that and I'm just going to ignore the dirt and stuff for now I just kind of want to focus on the leaves and show you guys the brushes I use so not trying to make a masterpiece here so the next thing I would do, I would still use the gouache brush, the watercolor brush, and those other gouache brushes to keep building up the layers and the shadows and the highlights and stuff like that. But some other brushes that I like to use while I'm in the process of drawing are the Jazinki ink brush. I really love this one. I love how you get really, really thin and then just thicken it out. Oh, it looks so good. And then you could also build up the color with this and it has a nice texture. I also really like these gouache liners that I bought. Um, these are really nice. They have a, a nice like kind of fluff to them if you could see that. Uh, I just think that looks really really cool. And then it just adds like something a little bit extra to it. And then again, I really like to use the 6B pencil. Just like look at the texture it gives. It's so freaking nice. And yeah, so I'll pretty much just use a combination of these different brushes. And then over time, as I keep building colors, I just add more and more layers of different shades. It starts looking really textured and very nice and very dynamic. So. 
yet there aren't too many different brushes that I use here. It's not that super crazy. Um, so those are the main brushes I'll use throughout the whole piece. And then later at the end of the video, I have a couple ones that I like to use for details and stuff. that I just wanted to make the background like kind of funky so I changed it to that and now I'm just gonna group all these layers together and just have it fill the page just because I'm not using that blank space anymore so I just kind of want to make it kind of like interesting so I think I'm gonna turn it like this yeah let's do that see how pretty is that so now all the layering is done i'm going to add some details now so the brushes that i like to use for details are the 6b pencil again i freaking love the 6b pencil like i just like to add sketchy lines and stuff like that with the 6b pencil like i said before sometimes i line things with the jizzing ink brush I hope that's how you pronounce it I really don't know so like I'll go and line some elements like that and then some other fun textures I like to use are the dry brush I usually use this if I'm doing like grass or something or like a tree it just adds like this really cool texture kind of like fur i guess i don't know i really like the dry brush i think that one is one that comes with procreate the grid one is very fun i don't use this that often but it just makes like a grid maybe i'll put that in there just for fun another one i really really love is the noise brush so i'll add this to the background or something so I'll just make a layer on top of that and then let's do like a lighter shade of pink. See, it just adds like a little bit of grain, a little bit of noise. It's called the noise brush. So that is one that I like to use. I just like how that looks. Another kind of noisy shader brush I like to use is the set of noise brushes. So it comes with these really cool like dotted ones and they also make a really cool background so it's just a bunch of if you zoom in it's just like a bunch of like really small dots but as a brush as a whole it looks really really cool so i like adding texture with those and pretty much those are the ones that i really really gravitate towards um some of the ones that i also like to use are the hb pencil for just thinner lines. I like to use some of these gouache liners depending on the mood I'm in, I guess. They each serve like a different purpose. And honestly, a lot of this is kind of figuring out what your style is and what textures and types of brushes you like to use in your artwork. So it's definitely something that takes a lot of experimenting and then finding out which ones work for you, which ones work for your hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the details in this.
So I just wanted to add like a couple little fun things to the drawing and I think that we are all done now. I hope you guys enjoyed taking a look into my brush library and that this video was helpful and definitely check out those Skillshare classes on Procreate because they were a huge, huge help when I was getting started with Procreate. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video if you want more and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Thank you.